Peter, how are you feeling after announcing your, um, your re you are retiring from cycling? Well, I'm feeling as before. <laughs> Still, I have uh, another year in the front and then I have another year on the mountain bike, then uh, I still have to do a lot. <laughs> How came this decision? Uh, the time is passing and uh, you know, I was always saying when I was 20s and I become professional, professional on, on the road, I said, nice too hard sport. I, until 30, I can keep going, but after 30, I'm going to finish. And today, I'm 33, and uh, I still have another year in the front <laughs> to finish. Then I think it's already time. And then when I was a kid, I started with mountain bike when I was nine years old. And I said, I, that's my real passion. I want to finish with mountain bike. I don't want to finish with last race. Like uh, what is gonna be world championships on the road bike or yeah world championships on the road bike or maybe this year what is the last race Lombardia is not my style Vuelta mm. I would like to finish on mountain bike that's something what uh, I start to do and uh, I want to finish with that. Have you lost the motivation with the last year or this last year for example? Not motivation, you know, like. Uh, even now I know it's going to be maybe my, no, maybe my last year on uh, World Tour races and stuff. I have even more motivation or I'm more motivated to enjoy, you know, to be in the race, to be present, to be in the front. Yeah, but I didn't lo lose motivation to, to win because that is something what you have inside of you. It's just more about priorities. What, uh, what you have in the life, you know, like uh, it's more about after all this year, what I did a lot of sacrifices and uh, stuff year by year to be in the front, to be, you know, maybe not yeah, under pressure to win or to be always there. I lose a lot in my normal personal life, you know, I lose a lot with my, the time with my family, the time to enjoy, to normal hard what the normal people do. <laughs> and uh, definitely I would like to spend more time with my son. And now he's five years old and uh, I see him, but uh, not I, how I should to see the son, you know, that uh, is also important for me and to spend more time with him. But definitely I didn't lose uh, motivation because uh, I can be motivated also in different things in normal life. Peter, you, you started winning with 19 years old and it's been like many, many years uh, being uh, successful and also with all the respect to the rest of the rival, you were always still in the show, like the big name, we were always following, following you everywhere. Does it... Um, was it a heavy weight, you know, to, to carry with that pressure, all that attention, the show of Peter Sagan? We've been seeing this all these days, all these years. Well, if you are in high level, that uh, is always something hard, like difficult to stay in high level. But I have to say the cycling bring me a lot of good things in life. It's not uh, a good experience. I have I remember only good experience on the bike because the bad experience I forget. That's why you can keep going on the bike, otherwise you are going to stop uh, much earlier. And uh, well, my career, I think it was, it was tough, like, uh, yeah, very, uh, how say, it was very high, you know? <laughs> Like also with the victories, also with the fans, also with people, you know, uh, the task, what the, they ask from me. But uh, well, I think uh, I managed it well because it's true I was winning as a professional cyclist when, since I was 19 years old or 20. But uh, the truth is I was winning since I was nine years old because I was always winning. 
even in uh, the small categories, then uh, I was already used to win. And after what uh, I become as a professional, that was, uh, yeah, definitely I had to, to learn and to take experience also in that, how to speak, how to, uh, to be with the journalists, with fans, you know, with sponsors. And uh, I think also thanks to my guys around me, as uh, Lomba, Gabi, and, uh, and others, Maros, Gonchar, Jan Valak, and uh, my brother and, and other riders. I managed it well and uh, it was always enjoyments to go for races. It was not uh, something that was hard, you know. That's why I also telling now I am here to announce something that uh, is going to happen, but just to prepare the people for what is going to happen. It's not like I going to finish from one day to another. But that's just something what uh, I have to res I, I have respect for all the people who supports me in these years. As you said, you started very young and you've been enjoying cycling since then. And we were speaking before we started the interview and you said, don't be sad because there are others to come. How much has your cycling has changed in the last years with all this new generation and yourself still being competitive and a winner? Oh yeah, why so serious? <laughs> it's not sad, it's just uh, starting, it's gonna start also a different life, but not now, in, uh, in future. And uh, well, I have to say the cycling was much more enjoyable from uh, when I started, when I was, yeah, yeah it was 2010. It was uh, much more fun. The riders, they, they know each other much better. They create groups also from, from different teams. I remember in Vuelta, we went outside to have fun, you know, with the, the riders from another team. Now it's more uh, professional. Like the teams, uh, I don't want to say like, not everyone, but uh, we are only few guys. We are friends. We can uh, enjoy, you know, to speak in, in the group or, uh, you know, to say something as between friends. Before it was uh, much more easy. Like, uh, I remember we spent time even after a race, you know, the guys from one team, another team, another team. I mean, they just joined to speak and uh, to, to be down in the lobby and uh, to enjoy the moment. Now it's uh, not going like that. Like uh, now everything is very strict, scheduled. You have uh, transfers, you have a uh, massage, you have uh, everything that uh, you have to follow and uh, it's just no time for enjoyment. <laughs> Will you miss cycling? Well, definitely yes, but uh, miss. It's like, uh, do you miss school? Yeah. I don't miss school. <laughs> like, I'm happy to be out. <laughs> now I'm gonna be happy to be out of the cycling, but uh, still, I, I'm gonna stay in cycling in some, somehow. <laughs> do you have plans already or not? After the Olympics mountain bike, do you know what are you still gonna do? Still, have to happen. It's, uh, if you think it's uh, another two years, then still slowly we are moving. <laughs>